Report is uh, our, uh, is the teaching of uh, experimental archaeology in Vilnius University because Vilnius University is uh, only one high school in Lithuania in which program we have um, this discipline experimental <coughs> archaeology and uh, mm -hmm. okay uh, Vilnius University is one of the oldest in this part of Europe. Yes established in 1579, <coughs> but uh, archaeology, like a uh, scientific discipline, is uh, new in our uh, university. Uh, the department of uh, archaeology was established in 1940, uh, uh, closed in Soviet period in 1966, and uh, uh, re-established in 1990. We have three Types of study, undergraduate study, graduate and postgraduate study, and uh, experimental <coughs> uh, course of experimental archaeology is uh, in uh, all courses in graduate studies. Uh, experimental archaeology started in Lithuania in the end of uh, 19th century, and uh, you can see first uh, a newspaper. Lithuanian newspaper, uh, which was uh, Varpas de Bell, and uh, first uh, archaeological experiment by drilling stone ages. Uh, the pioneer of our experimental archaeologists, well known <laughs> archaeologists from 19th and beginning of 19th century, Tadas Daugel, the uh, first chief of uh, Lithuanian. Uh, uh, archaeological uh, commission. Uh, this uh, uh, this article was published in in, in legal newspaper because in the Russian Empire we can uh, print uh, all books and newspapers only using uh, uh, Russian uh, uh, Kirillitsa. Only Kirillitsa. This was uh, printed in. Uh, Eastern Prussian and illegal comes to Lithuania, but it's very popular with uh, local peoples. Next, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> uh, real experimental archaeology in uh, university uh, started in uh, Kaunas. In uh, uh, archaeological process was uh, uh, some elements of experimental archaeology and uh, Archaeologist uh, technique Pranas Balinunas uh, shows for students some uh, um, drilling processes, uh, how made the fire with drilling and another uh, elements, but it what, uh, wasn't uh, systematic. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, real experimental archaeology started in Lithuania only in post-Soviet period. Uh, at first it was uh, uh, education and uh, uh, large festivals in uh, uh, Kirnavia, our old capital, and our sixth uh, capital uh, in Trakai. And uh, uh, teaching of experimental archaeology started in 2005. We work um, about 10 years in uh, this discipline and have uh, during this period about uh, about 100 <coughs> students which studied um, experimental archaeology. In first year undergraduate studies we uh, um, speak only in introduction to studies about experimental archaeology, some excursions and uh, one uh, theoretic lecture about experimental archaeology and in the first year graduate studies we have a uh, systemic course of uh, uh, experimental archaeology for eight or uh, more students, not 15 students, uh, it's six <coughs> European credits. In this lecture we speak about theory of archaeology, uh, discussion and uh, organize uh, practic uh, uh, workshops uh, and I am very thankful, mm -hmm. I am very thankful for my colleagues, specialists from um, experimental archaeology who organize uh, these uh, workshops uh, 
the matic is uh, uh, no, it's uh, our uh, clubs of reconstruction clubs uh, uh, of uh, some museums uh, we have uh, close cooperation with a uh, museum of uh, opera museum from Rumshirkes, from um, Kernavia, uh, and Kleipeda University, the specialist of trasology in Gwiedeslach. Uh, we have some lectures for my students uh, in uh, experimental archaeology. Um, some uh, student works, we have some uh, student uh, works, and uh, one work, uh, one experiment is uh, presented uh, by basically mm -hmm. one uh, experiment is presented in our annual meeting mm -hmm. in post uh, in Stone Age section in post uh, is uh, Lukas Gejauskas uh, he made uh, uh, made uh, harpoons from uh, elk it's a very interesting ornament and you can see in posters this uh, uh, this uh, work for this year. You add? No, please. Yeah. So, uh, I'll, yeah. uh, I'll just try to keep on timing, so I'll be <laughs> short and clear. And uh, <coughs> so, uh, the experiments which are committed by students, uh, they choose their topics according to their uh, MA thesis and uh, just their fields of interest. And uh, as it was told, just periods vary from Stone Age to Late Middle Ages and uh, include a really wide uh, range of materials. Uh, however, we have some top topics every year, uh, and uh, almost in every year we, will, we have some uh, trials, experiments, experimentations, whatever, on uh, pottery and food. Uh, most often you, uh, of usage pottery for food, for making food. Let's say in the left, uh, on the left we have uh, buckwheat cooking, uh, in the middle, uh, fish baking, and uh, on right, uh, it was uh, cottage cheese making. Uh, another topic, very popular each year, uh, is jewelry, and it uh, it includes ranges from uh, of materials from let's say uh, amber amulet ba uh, making up to very complex uh, uh, pieces of, of late Iron Age uh, with bronze, uh, silver, and glass. And you see some uh, casting processes. The next uh, popular topic, surprise, surprise, it's textiles. Uh, the most popular uh, type of experimentation is uh, dyes with uh, dyeing with plants, all kinds of stuff. Uh, on the left uh, side you see some spinning, and on the right side you see uh, uh, experimentation of uh, wearing the clothes, incorporating jewelry. That's pretty important finding out what those uh, huge brutes we are used for. And so, uh, we'll turn to concluding remarks. Uh, and uh, during this course of experimental archaeology, students get basic knowledge and basic skills uh, for their own uh, experimentation. And uh, this allows appearing experimental archaeology as a research method in their uh, MA thesis and in uh, PhDs, like mine. Mm -hmm. uh, and also it allows students to uh, successfully work at uh, events, museums, uh, and various types of festivals uh, as educators, exper experimental archaeologists, and reenactors, or just craftsmen. And the very final remark, it's that uh, we believe, and I think you, you will agree, that experimental archaeology is a, an essential, one of the most essential methods for uh, professional education of archaeology. So.